there's quite a bit to cover here, so let's just jump right in. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy new trailer. The latest Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy trailer showcased some really cool space combat and Nova Core. The developer explained the game's story on the PlayStation blog, quote, Our story takes place 12 years after an epic conflict known as the Galactic War swept through the cosmos. Star-Lord recently formed the Guardians of the Galaxy. They've been together for less than a year. He started the group as heroes for hire, seeing opportunity for adventure and profit in a universe that's still recovering from the war. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy is launching on October 26th. Chia. The PlayStation Showcase brings a plethora of new and exciting announcements. Among a constant onslaught of AAA announcements, the Chia is looking to be a chill experience that's all about a tropical vacation. The trailer showcases the protagonist playing a ukulele, as well as interacting and exploring the tropical island. Tachia can use her soul-jumping ability to take control of any creature, which should be monumental in getting into hard-to-reach spots. The game's art style and color palette are all in tandem with the game's themes, and fans of games like A Short Hike should definitely check this out. New Deathloop Trailer It was always a given that Arcane Lion's Deathloop would receive a new trailer during the PlayStation Showcase. Releasing on September 14th, it's one of the biggest console exclusives for the PS5 this year. A few scant details are revealed, like how Colt was seemingly the head of security on Black Reef, and how Juliana is continuously pushing him to remember why he came there. Of course, en route to discovering all of this, the player must take down the eight visionaries that inhabit the island. Doing so will shut down the loop. Or will it? Is there some greater mystery at the heart of it all? Deathloop releases next week for PS5 and PC, and is a one-year timed exclusive for Sony's console. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands Gameplay As expected, Gearbox Software unleashed the first-ever gameplay footage for Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, a looter-shooter series that sees the titular character returning as Bunker Master. As a new character, the player ventures across the fantasy realm of bunkers and badasses to defeat the Dragon Lord. Oh, and there's some baby metal to rock out to as well. Though the Borderlands style of looter-shooter action is still intact, there's a unique fantasy bent to all of it, with different enemy types, over-the-top environments, and crazy spells to unleash. Melee combat, bows, and all kinds of unique weapons are shown, and there's plenty of loot to earn. Brief snatches of different classes and abilities can be gleaned amid the chaos. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is out on March 25th, 2022 for PS5, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Remake Rumors about a remake of Bioware's beloved RPG, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, have been doing the rounds for a while, with a leak earlier this year claiming that Aspire Media is currently working on that project. Now, that's been officially confirmed. Sony kicked off PlayStation's showcase with a pretty significant announcement, confirming that Aspire Media is working on a ground-up remake called Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Remake for the PS5. No details or launch date have been shared yet, with the trailer being a cinematic one featuring some good old Star Wars music. For Spoken, new trailer and release window. True to actor Ella Belinska's recent tease, Square Enix took to the virtual stage at PlayStation Showcase 2021 and showed off more of their upcoming open world action RPG, For Spoken. It's a pretty meaty trailer and drops some interesting new story details, with more tidbits being revealed about its protagonist, the world, and more. We also get to see quite a bit of new gameplay footage, from combat to traversal, and is continuing to look impressive. Meanwhile, the game's also looking very impressive where its visuals are concerned. The trailer also revealed a narrower launch window for Forspoken. The game will launch as a console exclusive for PS5, along with PC, sometime in Spring 2022. Ghostwire Tokyo New Trailer Tango Gameworks' upcoming Ghostwire Tokyo has largely been a bit of an enigma ever since it was first announced, and though we've certainly seen gameplay every now and again, there are still way too many questions about exactly what it's going to be. At the PlayStation Showcase 2021, we got another look at the game. The newest trailer isn't particularly long, but it still shows quite a lot. We see more of its first-person combat, while various environments from the city of Tokyo are also shown. Bits and pieces of the story are also shown, and it's pretty clear from what's being shown off that though Ghostwire Tokyo isn't exactly an out-and-out -out horror game like Tango's previous works, there's still some pretty freaky stuff going on. Alan Wake Remastered Remedy Entertainment unveiled the first gameplay trailer for Alan Wake Remastered, its enhanced version of the cult classic thriller that's coming to the PS5, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, Xbox One, and PC via the Epic Game Store. 
Alan Wake Remastered focuses on the author of the same name who travels to Bright Falls with his wife, Alice. After encountering some strange happenings, including a dark presence lurking in the background, Alice goes missing. It's up to Wake to find her and discern what's really happening. The title has been acclaimed throughout the years for its presentation, storytelling, and compelling mystery. Along with improved visuals and character models, the remaster includes the Signal and the Rider expansions. Grand Theft Auto V, PS5, and Xbox Series X and S delayed. Sony's highly anticipated PlayStation Showcase brought with itself a plethora of exciting announcements. Rockstar's magnum opus of Carnage, Grand Theft Auto V, has also made an appearance this time, and teases updates coming with this version of the game. Grand Theft Auto V on the PS5 and Xbox Series X will feature seamless character switching, more dynamic gameplay, and loads of other improvements alongside the expected visual upgrades. The trailer looks better than GTA V on the PS4 and Xbox One, but isn't the eye candy that some fans might have been hoping for. Of course, the biggest announcement here is the fact that the game has been pushed from November 11th, 2021 to a March 2022 release. Rockstar or Take-Two haven't issued any statements on the matter, but information will be dropping soon. Project Eve A new trailer for Project Eve has been released at this year's PlayStation Showcase. This trailer details the world in which the game takes place, as well as a plethora of combat sequences. Project Eve will see players fighting and platforming across a multitude of levels, all while uncovering a deeper narrative. The combat looks flashy and fast-paced, along with a healthy supply of boss fights. The visuals and art are also equally confident, and the game looks great overall. Of course, there's little to no details on when the game will be released. Given how much of the game's systems have been flushed out, it wouldn't be a surprise if we get a release date in Sony's next couple of showcases. By the way, Project Eve looks fascinating, and fans should definitely keep an eye out on this game. Marvel's Wolverine Insomniac games have enjoyed more success than ever in the last couple of years, thanks to Marvel's Spider-Man and Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales. And they are, of course, going to stick with that universe. But that's not the only Marvel thing the developer is working on. One of the most surprising announcements at the recent PlayStation Showcase was Marvel's Wolverine, developed by Insomniac Games. No gameplay was shown in the trailer, and the CG affair is a pretty short one, ending with a very neat reveal at the end of Wolverine's Claws. Right now, all we know is that the game is real, and it's in the works. No release date has been shared for Marvel's Wolverine yet, but it is most likely in the early stages of development right now, so it might be a while before we see more of it. Marvel's Spider-Man 2 Insomniac Games may have thrown off everyone by announcing its new Wolverine game, but make no mistake, the studio is very much working on the next Spider-Man. Marvel's Spider-Man 2 will be released in 2023 and sees both Miles Morales and Peter Parker being central characters. And yes, Venom is also present. Of course, there's more afoot than meets the eye. A mysterious character that's looking to be challenged is narrating the trailer, and it seems that Venom is also keen on fighting them. We get a brief look at Peter Parker's suit wielding the iron spider limbs to dispose of foes, so that's something. As for who Venom is this time around, it's still too soon to be sure. Gran Turismo 7 Release Date and New Gameplay Footage Polyphony Digital has finally made an appearance at this year's PlayStation Showcase, with a brand new gameplay trailer for its upcoming Gran Turismo 7. The gameplay trailer showcases well, racing as well as the slew of customization options that players will have in the game. Gran Turismo 7 looks slick, which isn't a surprise since racing games are known to have great visuals. There are a number of different environments that players will get to race in, each looking equally gorgeous in their own respects. Players will have a buffet of customization options to fine-tune their cars to their liking, which they can then push to the breaking limit in the game's plethora of races. Gran Turismo 7 releases on the PS5 and PS4 on March 4th, 2022. Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection the rumors are true as the Uncharted series is making its way to PC. Well, sort of. Sony announced Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection for PC and PS5, releasing in early 2022, which includes remasters of Uncharted 4 A Thieves' End and Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Both titles were already incredibly good-looking on the PS4, but the remasters in the Legacy of Thieves Collection looks even better. Sony has confirmed that the PC version is being developed by Iron Galaxy Studios and will release shortly after the PS5 version. Of course, how things will work for current owners of both games on the PlayStation 4 remains to be seen. The other question remains, what about Uncharted The Nathan Drake Collection, which features the first three games? Is that coming to PC as well at some point? Well, we'll have to wait for more details on that one. God of War Ragnarok The next God of War game was announced a year ago, but it was little more than an acknowledgement that another game in the series is indeed in the works. 
Now, Sony has officially lifted the lid on the game and given us our first proper look at it, closing the PlayStation Showcase true to rumors. For starters, yes, the game is now officially called God of War Ragnarok to no one's surprise. That is officially its name, so we can stop asking questions about that. More importantly though, plenty of new story details are also revealed. Atreus has grown up, for starters, and seems to be a preteen now. Plenty of new gameplay was also shown off. God of War Ragnarok is due out for PS5 and PS4 sometime in 2022. So, what are your thoughts on this? Go ahead and share them in the comments below. And if you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon to get new video updates. We upload every day and would really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.